Well, here's an interesting fault on my um, Technics SUX502 amplifier. It's just developed this fault on its own. And I'm all, almost certain that it's got cracked solder joints on the PCB on the left hand side uh, output transistor because it's intermittent. If you push in a certain place, you see, it goes off. Come on, stupid thing. Normally switching this off and leaving it for a few seconds till it cools down. So what's the problem? And when this happens it makes a screeching sound through the speakers because I'm almost certain that that output transistor there has got a broken solder joint on the board. The one on the right hand side is okay. So it'll need reflowing by the look of it. But I'm almost certain that's the problem. I want to get this done because it's it's a beautiful sounding amp, a really nice sounding amp this. So um, yeah, as you can see, I'm pushing on the PCB and sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. So it's almost certainly a crack solder joint. Right down there. When you put that that screw there, so I can get my screwdriver and point to it. That screw, if you tighten that screw up fault happens because it's clamping down on the PCB so um, almost certainly a crack solder joint this so this is going to be fun because I've got to strip the whole lamp down and get to it ah. what I've done here is a safety measure is on the transformer I've just put some silicone over the live terminals here because that there that's live from the mains and so is that you know, not be touching that or you'll be dead, simple as that. So I could do a point of plastic cover over that as well. Um, yeah, that needs doing, that's a certainty. I do need to do that. Um, but that, yeah, that is almost certainly a crack solder joint. Because as you say, as you wobble it, there you go, it comes on. If I let go with that, oh, it's staying on a bit now. Normally what happens is it warms up and the um, solder reforms it just uh, breaks the connection so that needs doing but as I say wow this sounds amazing this thing on me on me um, Wolfdale diamond speakers really nice sounding amp on par uh, if not better than my Sony actually because it's got um, I'll switch it off at the front of it at the back which techniques recommend that you only use this switch for their speakers but I don't know why they've said that because it's worked on every speaker I've tried it on apart from actually no tell a lie apart from these these speakers here these um, monitor audio they're only 3 ohms yeah they're only 3 ohm speakers and when you switch this active current sensor switch on it makes a screaming sound because they're not the right impedance so anyway, when you switch that on with Wolfdale Diamonds, wow, the bass level is unbelievable. Uh, you know, it's a really nice amp, so I really want to get this done. You know, so if it's just a cracked solder joint, which more than likely it will be, it's not any particular fault with this amp, just that little problem. And uh, like I say, though, I've got to strip all the old board down to sort this problem. I've permanently these get hot and I'm not joking these get hot and for the sake of blowing the SVI chip down there which they're 70 quid to replace I put the fan on permanently as you can see and it's on silent you know it's not loud as long as it's got some air pulling out the back as long as it's got air pulling out the back there um, we're all good and this stays really cool but uh, Without me doing that, what I've done is I've just soldered it onto the last bit terminal on that uh, output there, 12 volt. And I put a resistor on it, knocked it down to about 6 volts, and it's uh, really quiet, so you don't hear it when it's on. But I suggest you doing that modification because um, they do get hot, these. And the fan normally only kicks in when it's really loud, which I don't really play it that loud. It doesn't need to be that loud, not on them speakers I've got in the living room because it uh, sounds amazing.
but that uh, there you go it's an intermittent solder problem so uh, in the next video I'll be taking this all apart stripping it down and getting that reflowed I think it's probably one or two connections on them two transistors there okay see you in the next video thanks for watching